Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about my alternative investment. And I've been trying to work on it. So if you have, and I'm going to try again, a lot of you won't really understand what I will say next. Uh, if you have a lot of investments already, like a 401k, you have a Fidelity stock account or some other stock trading account that you do for fun, you have your home. So my home is 100% paid off. It is, the government believes the home is $570,000, which is trying to tax me on this year. You can Google the home. It's the home business, right? It's obvious what the home is. Uh, and I have a Fidelity account with 600, 700, 800, who knows. Some, sometimes I post a Fidelity account here. Then I have a 401k with a undisclosed amount with my previous law firm I used to work at or with, I guess we were more partners than employee, employer. And on top of that, um, you know, I have a lovely wife, not wife, a lovely girlfriend who is uh, also working and, you know, also being promoted and so on. So money, oh, and I also have a sports car Lexus completely paid off. No student loan debt, no business debt, all of that has been paid off and the 800 plus credit. I think it's like 810, 815, something like that. That's all to say is only at that point in time when you have right, millions of dollars in investments in real estate, in stocks, in bonds, in S&P 500, would I ever, ever consider this, even, even at that point, I wouldn't consider this good advice. But I'm going to make it. I like collectibles. I like magic. It should be obvious. I own a shit ton of magic. I own a shit ton of Pokemon. I own a shit ton of other, even dead card games I enjoy. I'm trying to curtail my buying, but I decided to make one. I mean, even the inventory I already had, it was over a million. And you can ask my girlfriend. She had her nephew investigate. And yeah, I mean, he confirmed. And he's into these games. He's like a younger kid. He's into these games and prices. Um, I have $1.5 million as in um, collectibles. Now, how did I obtain that much? Well, I owned a collectible store for six years. And the one thing I, I will say here is that business is business, right? If you are an employee, you can only, I was actually having this discussion with my girlfriend who recently got promoted. Um, when you're an employee, you don't make four hundred, six hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand dollars $600,000, $800,000 a year. You're going to make a stable salary and that will be that. Some years I have lost money in opening my business for the two and a half years, we lost half a million dollars. We've lost, that was a net loss of half a million dollars or over a quarter million dollars almost every single year for the first two and a half years. Um, but some years you make seven figures, you make closer to eight figures in revenue and then you profit and you, you know, again, numbers, right? Um, business is business. And when you have, right now I have, I was talking to her, I do not want to put no more money into stocks and bonds and real estate. I think the property tax in Harris County is getting out. Or, or, so my my situation is very different from every, everyone's situation will be different. I have the opportunity to buy two more homes to as investment opportunities. The property tax is just crazy because Harris County is broke right now. Our mayor of Houston has announced that we are broke and therefore the only way that they can really get revenue, right? Because you don't have, um, is to tax the property tax. So I'm thinking, huh, now I've looked at these two properties. I'm ready to buy them. They're ready to sell them. I just really have no interest in these two properties because of the current status of Houston. One property is in Richmond. The other property is in downtown Houston. I don't have interest in these real estate at this moment in time because I believe, and this could be wrong, the Harris County is going to tax the uh, tax tax uh, property taxes will go up, and I don't like that. Um, I hate I hate uh, investments where it has these other things that sap the profit, right? 
Now, stocks, you know, I, I love the S&P 500. Every time somebody buys a MetaZoo kit, I just put some more money into my S&P 500. I think I made a video. Every time Rudy makes a video about MetaZoo, I put another 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 into S&P 500. Well, Alpha Investment has now deleted all his MetaZoo videos, so I can't really do that anymore. And to be quite frank, I don't want to. I think it's really high. Um, it's not as high as the, actually, I actually lost money doing it. So I'm a little snake bitten, which is not the right way to look at it. I know, but, um, I am, uh, definitely of the mindset. And I think you should be of the mindset is you got to play this game too. I know a lot of magic players, they're social justice warriors. They're going to be poor forever. You're not going to feel that way when you have a kid. You're not going to feel that way when you have a significant other. You're not going to feel that way when you go buy a home, Right. The reason that you feel this way is because people like Alpha Investment tell you to feel this way. But when you get older and smarter and wiser, you're going to want investments. You're going to want to put money into things that you enjoy, like artwork. I used to put hundreds of thousands of dollars in artwork. Um, we had a full-time studio out in Asia making artwork. I, I didn't enjoy that as much, and I now put that money. And we spent, what, $200,000, maybe four hundred. 400,000 total on artwork, like digital artwork. And that was just a drop in the bucket. I mean, it is, I have nothing to sell you. People say, oh, if you're so wealthy, why don't you have more subscribers? I don't give a damn. Guys, I have nothing to sell you. I don't have, I have a Patreon that has not been updated for many, many years. And I don't think it actually makes money. It has zero members in it, I assume. Uh, either, either that or the money's going somewhere. I don't know. I don't have um, MetaZoo promos to sell you. I don't have a, anything to sell you. I buy from you. I'm your liquidity. I'm the one person you go to that is not going to rip you off for 10 cents on the dollar or alpha investment, a penny on the dollar, right? 6.9 pennies on the dollar. I pay you over, over market price for a lot of things that I enjoy. Um, not anymore because I'm curtailing or waiting, you know, babies are expensive as it turns out. Um, I'm finding that fact out pretty, you know, we have insurance by the way, but like even with insurance, the babies are just, uh, you know, uh, um, I'm probably going to take a year off just to uh, video and stream. Like I can, I have that ability. I have the money saved up. I was talking to my girlfriend about that, take care of the kid and, you know, stream kids and, and so on. I'm not going to tell you the, the truth that like people like Alpha Investment, they don't, they want to keep you poor. They want to keep you stupid. They want to keep you lazy. My hunger for wealth has never disappeared. My hunger for acquisition of real estate, of stocks, S&P 500. I mean, honestly, God, I wish I was more into crypto because I would, I would have even more assets now, but I just don't get it. I, I just don't get crypto. I don't have a Bitcoin or MetaMask or any of that stuff. Anyway, my, my main takeaway here is you got to get stronger and you're not going to get stronger by, by MetaZoo cards. I can tell you that much, financially stronger.